Hello students, welcome to the statistics class. Previously, we discussed some important definitions regarding game theory, its introduction, what is a competitive situation, what are some properties of a competitive situation called as game. Okay, now in this video, we shall look at uh, some methods of solving a game, identifying the optimum strategies with which one player can gain and another player can lose in an optimal way okay so there are two methods of solving a rectangular game so here we are going to solve a zero sum uh, two person rectangular game so the first method is the maximin minimax principle the second one is the dominance principle like let us look at them one by one. First thing is the maximin principle. The objective of determining the optimum strategies for both of uh, both the players which maximizes the gain of one player say A and minimizes the loss of other player say B under all situation will be obtained by applying the maximin minimax principle the following steps are involved so basically in this method the ultimate objective here is to make sure that one player obviously will gain okay so this is a, a rule a set rule where one will gain another one will lose that is for sure but we have to make it such a way that one player gains maximum but the other player should lose minimum or his losses should be minimized okay so that is the main objective of this method here so what are the steps involved here first one is identify the minimum gain corresponding to each strategy of a write the row minimum on the right of each row find out the maximum of these this is called as maximin so uh, in the matrix here okay let me show it so this is the payoff matrix of player a and uh, whatever gains whatever the points are written here they all are the gains of a okay so if there is a negative number here it means that a has lost so so many points to player b if it is a positive number written here that means a has gained from player b okay so if you invert the same uh, matrix and write it for b so whichever number were positive for a that will be negative for b when you write the payoff matrix for b okay and whichever number were negative for a that will be positive for b okay so this is your payoff matrix here so Suppose say that A is on a winning side and B is on a losing side here. So here according to the first step for all rows we are first taking their minimums and then out of those minimum we are choosing the value which is maximum. So this is called as maximum. Maximum of the row minimums. So these are your rows A11, A12 so on up till A1n a21 a22 so on up till 2n so from each row we will be uh, identifying the minimum value and writing it here and out of all those minimum values we are selecting the one which is maximum okay this is step one next step two involves identify the maximum loss corresponding to each strategy of player b write the column maximum at the bottom of each column find out the minimum among these this is known as minimax so here again uh, you have to write the minimax minimum of the maximum so whichever uh, for example here the numbers are 1 2 3 5 7 and 9 suppose say this is a 9 number here so that's that 9 here means a has gained 9 points from player b that is the maximum that player b has lost to player a when he applied the strategy b1 here so here a1 a2 so on up till am 
and b1 b2 so on up till bn all these are called as strategies they are strategies uh, employed by the respective players here okay you could name it anything for simplification they have written a1 a2 and b1 b2 and so on up till bn okay so you have to write the maximums here so maximum of this column maximum of this column so on up till maximum of this column and out of those maximums you have to select the minimum value okay so once you have selected the maximin and minimax you have to see where those two values coincide suppose if your maximin is here and your minimax is here so it coincides here at this point in the matrix so this point will be called as your saddle point and whatever point is whatever number is there in that point that will be called as the value of your game okay the payoff at the position of the saddle point is value of the game it is the expected gain of player a when both players adopt the optimal strategies so here according to our example player b has adopted b2 and player a has adopted a2 by doing so a has gained suppose say here there is a common number 7 so 7 that means 7 points have been won by a against b so this point is saddle point and the number 7 here will be the value of the game okay so this is how you have to solve this problem of by using maximin and minimax principle now let us look at one example here now let us look at an example here for example okay from the following data find the value of the game using maximum min minimax principle so this is the given matrix here this matrix is a payoff matrix of player a okay <clears throat> now let us first identify the first step that we have to do here is identify the maximum here so from the first row that is a1 Three, one, two. We have to identify the minimum value here. It is a minimum value here, one. So write it down here. Next, a two, one, zero, and three. So out of these three, zero is the minimum here. So write zero here. Next, four, two, and three. So out of these three values, two is the minimum. So write two here. Okay. Next, now out of these minimums, whichever is the maximum. You have to mark it. So one zero two out of this, the maximum is two. So round it off and remember the position here. Okay. Similarly, once you identify the maximum, uh, identify the minimax now. So you have to write the column uh, greater uh, sorry with the biggest numbers of the columns here. So for B one three one four out of this, the biggest number here is four. So write four here. One zero two. Okay. Out of this, the biggest number is two, and two three three. Out of this, uh, the biggest number is three. It is uh, at two places. You can write any one of them. So write three here. Now, out of these maximums, whichever one is the minimum, you have to mark it. So out of four, two, and three, two is the minimum. So round it off, and remember the position here. Okay. now see where the maximin and the minimax coincide so both of them coincide here at 2 the saddle point here is this place so what is this place here this is the place where player a has applied his strategy a3 and player b has applied his strategy b2 okay so the saddle point here is at 3 2 3 means row 2 means column third row and second column okay so third row second column so that is your saddle point okay now the payoff here at the position is the payoff is the number here in the position the payoff here is 2 okay thus the value of the game is 2 this means player a when he applied the strategy a3 and player b when he applied the strategy uh, b2 that is the best he could win and that is the best he could lose okay so this is how you are solving a maximin minimax problem 
okay let us look at another example here okay so again this is the player a and player b okay now again let us uh, take here okay so if we take the maximums here 6 12 7 here it would be 6 7 9 8 here it would be 7 5 8 10 here it would be 5 3 6 9 here it would be 3 so out of 6 7 5 and 3 the maximum is 7 so that is your maximum Similarly, you have to find minimax here. So, 6, 7, 5 and 3. So, 7 is here. Next, 12, 9, 8, 6. You are writing 12 here. 7, 8, 10 and 9. So, you are writing 10 here. So, out of 7, 12 and 10, whichever is your minimum value. So, 7 is the minimum value here. So, 7 is your minimax. <coughs> so, maximin and minimax coincide here. <coughs> That is the strategies applied by player A and player B are A2 and B1. Okay. So, the position here in the matrix is uh, second row, first column or 2, 1. And the payoff here is 7. Okay. Thus, the value of the game is 7. The optimal strategies, that is the best strategies are a2 for player A and B1 for player B and the position 2 comma 1 is your saddle point okay so this is how you are solving the game theory problem using maximin and minimax principle hope this clears the method the example to you